in the first period. They glide in to the circle, pulls up, down low shot, save made. The net came off, it's Moorings. Did that puck go in? They're gonna say that that net came off its moorings, I believe. They're gonna put it back on. The Binghamton players think they have scored. They have not. The Binghamton players have come off the bench. They've come off the bench. We've got a face-off in Danbury Ice, and Binghamton's players are gonna be told to go back to the bench to the raucous applause of the Danbury Arena and the assembled fans here. A water bottle's just been thrown on the ice. That's been thrown on the ice by the officials. Johnny Ruiz is coming over to point out all about all of that. And water bottle thrown in frustration from the Binghamton bench. Gonzalez pointing it out as well. Furious at that is Nikita Ivoshkin. He bangs his stick against the glass. This is that goal that they are discussing here. It's a nice drop here. Marchison ran into Wilson looking for a place to block that. He was initially defending Chad Lopez. Here's that play again. Marchison goes down. Lopez slides with him. Lopez gets back up. Marchison's momentum carries him directly into the net. So that's what Binghamton feels upset about. They feel that Jake Schultz scored a goal here, and that should be counted as the winner. And as it stands right now, the officials are deliberating about this. They called no goal. There is no replay for officials here. So what exactly are they deliberating on it? They're showing the replay on the board, the same thing you're seeing here. You see Schultz's hands go up, that net is clearly off its moorings. So that's what we have. We have two minutes and 31 seconds left in this overtime. We had a water bottle thrown on the ice and we have a very long deliberation time following on after that. This game has had a little bit of everything. If you like the hockey and the goal scoring, it's had that. If you like the litigation, it definitely has had that as well. If you like the fights, we've had one of those. If you like the great atmosphere and the raucous fans, oh, we have that, it's Danbury. A long discussion session now. I don't think they're discussing whether or not this is a no goal. I think, but I'm not sure what else could be on the docket for the refs to talk about. You'll see it right here. And in fact, let's roll that forward one more time and see the very ending of this. They've ruled it a goal. They've ruled it a goal. The officials are going to call this a goal. They're going to say that Jake Schultz scored the overtime winner. They're going to say that the Binghamton Black Bears have won this game 4-3 in overtime. After all the deliberation, they're going to rule that this play that you're seeing right here, this is a play They'll wind it forward and play it. So, with 2.31 left to go, Jake Schultz, according to the officials, and much to the consternation of the Danbury Hattricks and their fans, this is being ruled as a done game. The Binghamton Black Bears, according to the officials, have won this hockey game. The Danbury fans are in disbelief. The Black Bears are going to the locker room victorious. And the officials are heading off the ice. The hat tricks will tip their...